guys, it's me, Vanessa Monet, and I'm so, so glad to be here because I have one thing to tell you guys. As you guys know, I'm out for summer and I've had so much time on my hands and what better way than improve on myself, improve on my content and to try to bring you guys things that I learn as I go. So what I did today was I went ahead and created this cut crease on this look for the very first time, meaning this is the first time I've ever done one. Now the great thing about this tutorial is all you need is one palette and that is the Modern Renaissance palette. If you watched a couple of my videos before this one, you've seen that this is like my holy grail. I love this palette. It's so vibrant, warm, and full of colors. And I've been able to create so many looks, including this one. So if you would like to see how I create this modern renaissance cut crease, then just keep watching. So I'm first going to start with my LA Girl Pro Concealer as a base. And I'm going to set it with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm then going in as a transition with Burnt Orange. I'm going to try to wing it out beyond my eyebrow to give it that cut crease effect or carve it out. Then I'm going to use a love letter directly in the crease just to further cut out that crease. Kind of define that burnt orange and start carving out my cut crease. And I'm going back and forth beyond my brow. I'm then going back in with burnt orange and I'm just shading out any of the harsh lines from the love letter and just blending it out very nicely. Then again, I'm going back in with love letter just to further define that crease. I kind of like to pull my face back. Then I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer that I used to prep my eye and I'm going to use this to really cut my eyelid and just cut out that crease. I did do mine a little bit low. If I could do this again, I would do that part over. I wouldn't do it as low because it didn't really seem as cut as I wanted it to be. But I really like how it turned out anyway. But I'm just going to use that concealer and really carve it out. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender and just blend out that line so it's not as defined and noticeable. I'm then taking tempura and I'm placing this directly on the concealer just to set it in place and to make sure it is defined. I'm then taking cypress umber and I'm using this to really separate the lid color from the crease in order to make sure that it's super defined and really you really get to notice the crease in there. I'm just going to go back and forth in very small and short motions. Then I'm going to just blend it out a little bit so it's not as harsh. The key to cut crease is to blend. I'm then taking that banana powder and I've already prepped my skin. I've already placed foundation. I'm going to put my banana powder all over the skin. I haven't used banana powder in a while so I just decided to pull it out since this was a new look. I'm then going back in with Venetian Red and I'm just going to place this directly on the waterline just to smoke out my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Raw Sienna and I just use this to kind of soften that harsh line underneath the eye. I'm then going in with my True Match powder in W7 and I'm just going to wipe away that excess banana powder. I'm then going in with the Vegas Nay Lashes in Shining Star and my All-in-One Mascara by Revlon and I'm just mixing my lashes with my real lashes so that they blend nicely. I'm then going in with my Kiss New York Roasted Coffee Lip Pencil 
this is my favorite lip pencil you guys like i love it and then i'm going in with creme de nude by mac and it's just a very sheer nude shade that i like to place underneath gloss and then i'm going in with my what is that called my la colors gloss and this is then i just add a fix plus and then I have to fix my hair up a little bit. I'm trying to get these twists together. I'm then going in with some brow gel. And this is just some brow gel that I got from the beauty supply. And it really sets my eyebrows in place. And that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next one.